Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today we're gonna brew our Juan Jimenez Pink Bourbon on the Kalita Wave. This is a really unique varietal that you may not have seen very often, but we're gonna tame this coffee with our classic Kalita Wave recipe. This coffee is really bright. It can tend to be really tart and overpowering, and this traditional recipe help to tame that with the oils, the texture, and bring out more sweetness to help balance this really bright acidity. We're gonna need 25 grams of Juan Jimenez Pink Bourbon, ground medium coarse, pretty classic for your Kalita Wave. Our Kalita Wave with paper filter, decanter, gooseneck kettle with 400 grams of water set to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. First things first, let's go ahead and wet our paper filter. I like to hold the paper in, pour straight into the middle of our Kalita, let it fill up about halfway before lightly rinsing the edges to get rid of all of those paper fibers. While that drains, let's grind our coffee. Top off your kettle if you need to. Make sure that water reaches temperature. And always be sure to dump your rinse water before brewing. We don't want a watery cup of coffee. Dose your coffee. Shake your brewer flat. Tear your scale, let's get brewing. Let's start our timer and begin with our 50 gram bloom. Really light. You'll notice the aroma of this coffee is already a little tart and really citrus. Let this bloom for 30 seconds and at 30 seconds, a heavy spiral pour, raising this water level up to 60 gram, or 160 grams. And really quickly after that, at 45 seconds, I'll pour 60 grams, drop in, stir up that coffee, raise that water level. That should end at about 160. And then at 45 seconds, quick pour, bringing this water up to 220. Now, time frames for this recipe and most recipes in general aren't set in stone. I'm gonna watch this water level. Whenever I can fit another 60 grams of water in here, I'm gonna to top it off, agitating this coffee, raising this water level back up to keep a steady filled brew bin. This was about 112 that I started that pour. Then I'm gonna pour to between 290, 300. At about 135, I'm gonna do another pour, around 340, 350. And then 150, it's gonna be my last pour, bringing this total all the way up to 400 grams. This coffee drains really fast, around 2.30. It's gonna be really sour and a little bit salty, but really tart. If it drains really long at around four minutes, then it's still pretty good. It's got so much acidity and sweetness, it carries through, but it becomes astringent and a little medicinal and takes on this chalky texture. But if our coffee drains at around 3.20, plus or minus about 20 seconds right there, then we get a tart but sweet blood orange, sweet caramel, black tea, and this gentle and sweet floral honey. This coffee has a lot happening for it. Such a unique varietal that we've not experienced so much. It's gonna be pretty different from most Colombian coffees that you've had. Adventurous, but so sweet once you've dialed into that sweet spot. This texture is smooth. It's a very nice cup of coffee. 
You can already smell it. And right on the money, we're about to drip out here at 320. And then serve, and enjoy. Cheers.